Uh, hey, what is up, you guys? It's Kitsubaki here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna go ahead and go right into this. Like, yeah, okay. So, hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Camp Buddy. And how are you doing right now? I still haven't had my coffee, so I'm tired as fuck right now. But you know what? I decided, hey, well, let's play another Camp Buddy. I know I don't have the face cam right now, but you know what? You should be thanking. You, be, you should be like thankful for that. You should be like, God damn it, I'm thank you. Thank you so much, Kiki, for not blessing us with your ugly face. But anyways, if you remember what happened last time, we uh, had an epic, um, adorable moment, and then we just fucked. And kind of root my groove, man. I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then I'm just like, oh, <laughs> now we're doing this. That's a big jump. All right, then. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, when we left off, uh, Aiden was whistling. That's all I really remember. Oh, Yoshi looking all depressed. Maybe you should stop being a little bitch, Yoshi. Morning, Yoshi. I just got started cooking breakfast. How are you feeling Aiden. today? Aiden, I couldn't sleep much. That's right, because he's still thinking about Tiger. But listen here, this is what happens when you bring up someone's uh -oh. past. And they don't like talking about the past. Yikes, you're still thinking about that yesterday, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm not doing a good job as a scoutmaster. You're probably not. That's the case. What? Well, of course you are. No, he's not, Aiden. Don't tell him that he is, because he's really doing it wrong. He can clearly see the tiger was perfectly fine with me just normally. He didn't need his help. He didn't need to intervene, because he just made things worse. You sure? Sure, I feel like I'm failing with my responsibilities, especially with Tiger. Well, you know what? You're not failing. You're just being a little bit uh, too in-depth. Or something like that. I don't fucking know. He still has the same hatred from last year. No, he does not. Have you seen this gem? God damn it. Come, Come on, Yoshi. On. He can't let go of the past unless you do, too. So you gotta stop thinking about that. Damn right. You tell him, Aiden. You tell him the truth. What matters is what you uh, what you do right now to recover from it. Wow. Yeah, that's that was English. And besides, I know you're trying your hardest for the scouts and doing what you think is you best. Can do it. You'll figure out what to do to help Tiger. I'm sure yeah, of it. You I really would. think so? Yeah. yeah, just stay open-minded and everything will turn out fine. Yoshi. Why don't you just concentrate on today's hike for you now? See, if you're still feeling conflicted later, maybe you can ask Gramps for some advice. He'll probably know what to do. Why would he want to bring Gramps into this? God damn, man. He doesn't even know what's going on, honestly, if I'm going to be speaking the truth here. I'm just talking because what I'm trying to do is bring up my guide because I don't want to be an idiot. <laughs> That's right. Anyways. Uh, you're right. Maybe I should bring this up with him after right. all. You need to stop trying to carry everything on your back. We're a family here, remember? We help each other out. <laughs> Kato said that to me before, too. Yeah, I did. Probably. <laughs> he sure is something special, huh? I admired how the little dude sticks with Tiger despite everything. Tiger's not anything bad. You guys are fucking dickheads for thinking that Tiger's bad, for Christ's sakes. Alright, hang on a moment. Hang on momentarily. Okay, alright, alright. We're looking on the left side. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to look on. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm not actually. cheating. <laughs> he actually reminds me of how you were back then, always looking for the best in everyone. Oh, oh Aiden, stop it. <laughs> Laughter. Oh. oh, it's already 6 a.m.? I should go wake up all the scouts. We still have a long hike back right. to camp, buddy. Right, you can go do that. I'll pack our tents up. Thank you, Thank you for listening to me, Aiden. No problem. No problem. I didn't want to listen to him. He just made me listen to him. Oh, no, Tiger looks depressed. Tiger. Oh, Tiger, you're awake already. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah, so are you. Shouldn't you be still passed out? You usually sleep for another hour or well, so. Well, I guess I knew you were already up. Okay. <laughs> right. Tiger. You look a little bothered. Are you okay? Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. There's just a lot going on in my head right now. Eh? Like what? Um... Just the stuff that we talked about last night. <sighs> I was up all night trying to look back at my actions. I feel like I owe you, everyone, and Scoutmaster Yoshi an apology. Well, you know what, buddy? Um... Yes, for the first pew part, but Scout Master Yoshi was the one antagonizing you, so like, fuck Scout Master Yoshi, fuck Scout Master Yoshi, fuck Scout Master Yoshi. Um. Oh, um, I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm not cheating. I'll help you out if you're having trouble with anybody. That's what I'm supposed to say. We're gonna go ahead and move over here. I think that's what I'm supposed to say. Please don't let me mess up. Please don't let me mess up. Um, I'll help you out if you're having trouble with anyone. Yeah, there we go. I'll help okay. you out. I'll help you out if you're having trouble with anyone. Thanks. Damn. Thanks, Kidabo, but I need to show everyone that I've changed on my own, too. Well, of course. But I'm like, I'm here to help you out. See, the thing with me, guys, is I have anxiety and shit, so if I don't check about three damn times that I picked the right option and I have chances of getting the bad ending, I cry. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't cry. Out. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate your offer, but I don't want to get you in the middle of the mess that oh. I made. Oh, I completely understand, well. Tiger, but I have to admit, I don't even know where to start. Yeah. After the sports fight, the bet, and all the bullying, I'm not sure they'll believe me. I wouldn't believe me either. <sighs> I've been going over what I wanted to say to them in my head, and it just keeps making Take me cringe. Easy. Relax, Tiger. You're don't have to make up with everyone immediately. This is the kind of thing that takes Fine. time. You're right. Uh, 
Ugh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. There's two days in a row they've messed up my beauty sleep. Indeed. Indeed, my circadian rhythm was perfect prior to this trip, but these irregular schedules have thrown it completely out of sync. Move it! It's probably time to head back to camp. Come on, I'll help you guys get yes. ready. Oh, sure, Tiger, that would be love. What? Wait, what? Tiger! Have you received a higher than average amount of sleep, Tiger? This behavior is quite unexpected. Campers! Campers, it's time to... Oh, you're already awake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we heard the whistle. This is awkward silence between the two right. of them. Right. <clears throat> Very well, then. We'll be hiking back to camp buddy soon, and Aiden has prepared a breakfast. Please get ready while I wake up the other scouts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I suppose we should begin packing our belongings, mm -hmm. then. Uh, yeah, sure. After we got dressed and we noticed everyone taking down the tents and decided to get started ourselves... Eventually, after cleaning up the campsite and having a quick breakfast, we were ready to march out. I'll always remember this place and the time I spent here with Tiger. And that is the end. Just kidding. But hey, guys, that's the end of this episode. No, <laughs> just five Lee. minutes in. Just go five minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Lee. Huh? Huh. Um. Did you notice something different about Tiger mm. today? Something different? Not that I've observed. Well. I don't know. He kind of feels fluffy today for some I reason. Disagree. I did not ascertain any significant change of hair growth for Tiger today, unfortunately. In case you can't tell by the, because I don't have the face cam, I'm literally closing my eyes in cringe right now. You dimwit! <laughs> no, you did. No, you idiot! I mean, fluffy as in like warm and a little tender. What do you mean? Again. I don't understand your use of objectives to describe the change that you see from Tiger. He is not a section of meat to be tenderized. I hate you. <laughs> uh, you're hopeless. I mean, Tiger is a little nicer Absolutely. today. Oh, why did you say that from the start? Of course, I noticed his rather exuberant mood today. I know, yeah, right? I know, but he's not cranky like he usually is in the morning. He helped us pack our stuff. He's smiling often. He even complimented my makeup today, which, by the way, he never does. My makeup's pretty good today. <laughs> the all natural. <laughs> That's the brand I use. Hmm. Now that you pointed it out, he did listen to me talking about theoretical physics this morning without his usual shut up Lee line. Oh my god. I would tell him to fucking shut up. Theoretical physics. Physics is something I did not do that well in, in school. I got like a 65 in the time that I took it. Lee? Which is not really good, but it's a pass. <laughs> what do you think happened yesterday when we left him with Kato? They seem a little chummier lately. Like they're actual friends or something. Well. I do think that Kato has provided some kind of influence on Tiger's attitude lately, but my presumptions will not confirm anything. Maybe it's the best if we ask them directly. What? what? We both know what happens when we ask Tiger something like that. And besides, I'm just assuming. Maybe it's just my imagination and all. What do you mean? Uh. To my understanding. Well, we won't gain any insight if we just stay put and are satisfied with baseless conclusions. Tiger has never allowed us into his personal and deepest thoughts, and. He's giving him an unimpressed look. Edward. You too realize please. I'm three feet away from you and can hear you talking about me, right? <laughs> well, uh, well, Edward here wishes to know why your attitude has drastically changed from a, and I quote, ferocious to fluffy, warm, and te tender. Uh, Lee. Lee. <laughs> anyway. Well, I know this is weird to hear, especially coming from me, but I'm going to try my best not to be mean like before. That is really Lee. weird. See, I told you, Lee. It's probably just my... What? Say what? As I was Let's saying. Let's just say, Kato helped me realize a lot Kedero. of things. Kato, a little word. Uh, uh, you. Okay, I don't know what kind of magical fruit spell or potion you gave to Tiger, but I'm 100% sure this is not the same Tiger that we know and love. Oh no, buddy. It's the same Tiger you know, but it's just the Tiger that I made love to. What? sip the tea. What are you talking about? This is the same Seriously? tiger. I cannot believe that he's gone full circle in one night. That is just impossible. Unless Kato has disposed of the old tiger and replaced him with an exact doppelganger that he has conjured from his evil frog magic while we were sleeping. God damn it, they're finding me out, guys. Seriously? Really? <laughs> the actual oh, come fuck. on, you two. You guys are always so More extra. Is it something. really that shocking for me Aren't to be nice? Well, well... No, this reminds me of how you were when we first met, which feels like forever um, ago. I think the more shocking part was for you to be nice to Kato, Tiger. I've just gotten tired, okay? And besides, what reasons do I have to hate Kato anyways? Kato? I swear, it seems like you've really brainwashed Tiger, Kato. Indeed. I agree. There is still the possibility that Tiger we are currently speaking to is a clone after all. Yes, of course, I conjured up Edward, some clone magic. Lee? Don't be silly, you two. Oh, um, selection, selection, selection. Let's think about this for a moment. It looks over to the left on my second monitor. 
blah, 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 blah. It's because of last night, is Maybe. what we say. Maybe it's because of last night when we... Catero? Hey, Catero? <laughs> huh? Huh? Did you two go swimming or something? Fine. Yeah, swimming. Nothing else. <laughs> Just a quick dip into... Hey. Stop it already. <laughs> Catero. Hey, Catero. Hey, Seto and Felix of the... Uh, um, I don't know their last names. What's their last names again? I don't know. Hello. I don't know, man. Oh, hey there, Seto and Felix. What are you guys up to? Wow. Well, we just wanted to check on you, you know, since you've broken your camera and all. Oh, oh looks like the word has gotten around, yeah. huh? That's yeah, right. if I were you, Katero, I would sue Tiger for it and make him pay for the damage. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Felix. But that must have sucked big time. Trust me, I know how it feels to have your favorite gadget all broken. It's all right. Up. Oh, it's totally f fine. Uh, Sir Aiden said he might be able to fix it when we get back to the camp, anyways. And besides, it's not Tiger's fault. It was just a little accident. It's not a big deal, really. All right. Up to you, dude. I'm just saying that Tiger is bad news. Everybody knows that already. Yeah, that's right. I agree. You should really stop hanging out with people who influence you negatively, Kato. You know what, guys? Hello? I used to love you guys, but fuck you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I, I love, I love all the characters except for Yoshinori. You fucking cunt, bringing up his past. I fucking hate you. I never liked you to begin with, Yoshinori. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, excuse me. We're right here. How dare you talk badly about Tiger out in the open like this? Didn't you hear that Kato said it was just an accent? Hey. Accident, not an accent. Hey, don't blame me. That's what everyone is talking anyway. about. Anyways, uh, we didn't come here to fight with you guys. We're just here to catch up with Katero. Come on, Felix. I'm Bye. taking a sip of my coffee. I'm doing it again. Bye, Felix. Uh. Ag the nerve. Jill, give it a rest, Edward. What? What? But, but they shouldn't be going around spreading lies anyway. like that. Well, they're not completely wrong. It was mostly my fault the camera fell anyways. Plus, I kind of bullied them when we first got here, so it's no wonder they don't like me. Why would you just flat out go bully Seto and Felix before he even like before they even like talked to us or something like that? You know, Seto and Felix are very lucky. They get their own fucking like cabin, and like we have to share like four people. Goddamn, Seto and Felix just goddamn can like be naked with each other like 24. <laughs> uh, huh? What am I talking about? Never mind. The incident with Kato's camera they were referring to uh... was true. Uh, it wasn't a big deal, guys. My camera fell at the top of the fall, but it was just an accident. Actually. Tiger was able to get it back for me, and Sir Aiden says he'll be able to fix it too. Look at that. that. That just works. That just works, baby. When did I hear that correctly? Tiger retrieved it for you? I am shocked with this discovery. Oh, oh I gotta talk in my freaking accents. Jay, I'm having a hard time processing all of this. Like I said, I don't want to cause any more trouble than I already have. Thank you, Tiger. Come on, let's just keep hiking. I want to get back to the camp and have a shower. I can that. This is just way too suddenly. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super happy we finally have a friendly Tiger again, but, like, it's so out of nowhere. <sighs> hmm. I suppose we were incorrect in our assumptions that Tiger was getting along less with Kato than before. The two of them have been spending a great time deal of time together, and admittedly, even I have begun to enjoy Kato's companionship. Um... I guess when you put it that way, I'm not as grossed out by Kato as I used to be either. Well... Either way, this change is purely for my benefit. I would much prefer to enjoy my time here with Tiger as opposed to planning complex revenge schemes. Oh. <sighs> That's true. Uh. Uh, I can't wait to go back to Camp Buddy to just process all of this. We covered the rest of the hike back without any incident. Eventually arriving back at the camp, uh, something arc. <laughs> what, what the fuck? I looked at it word and I just didn't read it Jordan. and then, like I forgot all about it. <laughs> Welcome back to Camp Buddy Scouts. I hope you all enjoyed the vacation. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm extremely proud of all of you for your good behavior. There were no major rule incidents during the entire trip and everyone managed to get along well. In addition, both the beach and the falls were left in pristine condition. Alright, I'll stop doing that. That was really annoying. I apologize. As I ordered, you have all done a great job and can't take the rest and can take the rest of the day off to rest. Yoshinori? Yoshinori? Sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Would you like to say anything? No, sir. Until okay, next then. time. Okay, then. You're all dismissed. We'll see you tomorrow for another activity. Thank you again. I'm proud of you for not causing all a fuss. Right. All right. Now, Scout Masters, I need to speak with you off of a trip debriefing. Let's head back to my office. Have a good time talking about it. <laughs> all right. For the next item, Yuri, the it, okay, <laughs> you created for the trip worked perfectly. There were never a concern that we could run out of time for an activity or be late to the Thank destination. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dad. I'm Meanwhile, impressed. I'm impressed with how well you managed to keep the scouts fed and beach clean, Aiden. Uh, you performed above my Aww. expectations. Uh, thanks, Gramps. Stop oh, that. Something. Um, my bad. Will you stop calling me that godforsaken nickname? I'm still plenty youthful, you know. <clears throat> And finally, Yoshinori, I'm pleased with the way you supervise the scouts outside of our one discussion. It seems that everyone got along fine. Looks at each other. Anyway. Anyways, 
While I've dismissed the scouts for the day, there are still duties to be performed and work to be done around here. You all know your daily responsibilities. See to it, they are completed with the scouts resting. Is that understood? No you can count on me, Dad. Yep. yep, I'll cook them something special for today. Now that I have the kitchen again, can you please Until cook us like time. fried chicken and like chicken balls? I want Chinese food right now, man. Then, that should be all for today. Go ahead and proceed with your normal routines. Just drop by if you have any further inquiries. You're all dismissed. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. See ya. See you later, Gramps. Oh, that Aiden. Yoshinori. Yoshinori, before you leave, a word if I may. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Hmm. You still seem just as dazed as you were at the beach. I can't ignore when one of my scoutmasters is feeling distressed. Tell me what's on your mind. Well, uh, there's just a lot going on in my head recently, sir. Does it have something to do with that camera incident involving Mr. Nagami and Mr. Akatora? What? What? You knew about that? <sighs> Rumors spread quickly around the camp, Yoshinori. I overheard some of the scouts discussing it this morning, and Aiden warned me about it as I well. I see. I apologize that. for not reporting it to you immediately. I thought I could have resolved the problem without telling you. Everything was going so well the past few weeks, and I didn't want you to let <sighs> you down. You still haven't changed from before. You know all too well that you shouldn't be burdening yourself with things you can't handle on your own. However... Anyways, I promised... Aiden and Yuri to handle this calmly unlike before, but you should be aware of the risk that was involved in that scenario. Luckily, nobody got hurt seriously, so we can just let the bygones be got be bygones. Imagine if Tiger just fucking fell off of the side. I would cry, man. I would fucking cry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. However. But I am more concerned about your relationship with your scouts, specifically Mr. Akatora. I thought things were going smoothly with him. How did the situation get this carried I don't away? Know I'm if really, I really doing can. my best, but Tiger just isn't willing to listen to me. You're not doing your best. You're antagonizing Tiger, bringing up his fucking past. Shut up, Yoshinori. Stop lying. I don't know what else to do. I've tried to guide him over and over again, but every time I do, he just does the opposite. Maybe because he's trying to do it himself. It's like whatever I say goes in one ear and out the other. Probably because all you fucking say is, "Oh man, we gotta make it better than last year." He's trying to make it better than last year, but you're fucking punk ass. He was just going to, oh, hey, Tiger, remember, uh, remember last year when I gave you this fucking friendship bracelet with what's his name? I don't know, what's his name? Kieran or whatever? Remember that? Yeah, remember that? Now you remember that? Oh, yeah, it's fucking your, your past, and like you're probably not friends with that person anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up and bring it up for this fucking friend because I'm a fucking bitch. Hmm. Here's a word of advice, Yoshinori. Take it from someone who has gone through the same thing and handled different kinds of scouts in the past. Ask yourself, don't you think that having such a stigma of him is what makes him feel isolated from everyone else? Well. Try to put yourself in his shoes and view the world from his eyes. Because that's the only way you'll know where his emotions and actions are coming from. Mr. Akatora has always been a troubled scout, struggling to get along with the others. Furthermore, he misbehaves because his peers have decided that he is nothing more than a bully, and his counselors believe that he is difficult to handle instead of trying to see past his problems. Sir. I never really thought about it that way. What but do? what else can I do? He keeps pushing me away when I try to help him. Uh, so? Leave him alone? Oh my god, look, I can finally agree with it's fucking... I can finally agree agree with Goro here. Thank you so much. Thank you. He doesn't need your help. Exactly. Hmm. I was cautious of Mr. Akatora after the incident with Mr. Nagami at the sports fest, to my, but to my surprise he has slowly but surely been improving. Well, until yesterday. What well, caused such hostility between the two of you? Well, well, it came to my attention that his relationship with Katero was headed in an unhealthy direction ever since the sport. Dude. I fucked him on a beach. I fucked him in a waterfall. We made out in a waterfall. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh wait, well he doesn't know that. I attempted to correct Tiger's behavior by presenting him op opportunities to bond with Kato the right huh? way. And therefore you made assumptions about the two scouts leading yourselves to believe that their relationship was bad. Oh shit! Oh my god, I actually agree with Goro uh, for once in my goddamn life. God damn, you let him know Goro. God damn, you fucking roast the shit out of him. Come on, drop that shit. <laughs> exactly. Oh. I can't blame you. Even I made the mistake the first time I met them when I came back this term. The only reason I think Mr. Akatori would push you away is because you're trying to force him to conform to your standards and to turn him into something you preserve as the ideal scout. Damn! He's just letting him have it! And I agree 100%. I don't mean to be harsh or judgmental about the way you handle your scouts, but from now on, you were the... Ah, uh, from... Ha, ah, but from how you were the past few days, it's obvious you needed some advice. Although, I should have stepped in and helped long before now, instead of just observing. I no, sure, I really do appreciate your advice. Let's see. In any case, I know your intentions are good, but I want you and Mr. Akatora to resolve your issues with each other. The two of you need to come to an understanding, and as a scoutmaster and an authority figure, you are expected to be more patient and understanding with clear? him. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. I apologize, I apologize for not that. trusting you on this matter sooner, sir. As a cramp president, you had every right to know about important things like this. More importantly, I should have known that you would understand my shortcomings and come to give me guidance I needed. You don't need to 
do everything alone, Yoshinori. I'm here to help you. He's giving him a hug. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That would be the last of my stuff to unpack. This is some good-ass coffee. I made a good coffee today. Thank you. Thanks for helping me out, Katevo. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Tiger. <sighs> Meanwhile, I am currently exhibiting the first symptoms of starvation. My stomach is experiencing some contractions. Hello. Or you can just say you're hungry, Lee, like a normal person would. Well? You should know that my sub... Okay. Okay. My susquipet... Dalian Lakwashinas gets progressively worse by the minute the longer I stay hungry. Lee. I don't even know what's going on. Hmm. <laughs> but now that you mention it, me too. We started hiking so quickly today that I didn't even finish my breakfast. Not only that, what body part is that? I'm gonna search it up right now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, it's a, uh, um, it's not a body part. <laughs> it's a way of saying his, um, a long, uh, uh, the use of a long word gets used much more. So basically, he says long words the longer he stays hungry. I don't think that it would be how it would work. I think it would be vice versa. I'm just, you know, letting you know in case you were as fucking confused as I am, or maybe you've already known and you're smarter than me and you're like, uh, graduating university with a fucking good old biochemist degree and some shit like that. <laughs> and here I am just searching, what the fuck is this thing? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> he's, he's, actually, whatever. I was actually about to bring all the dirty laundry out if you guys want. I can use all some snacks on my yes. way back. That's perfect, Brunette. One avocado smoothie for me, please. Um, I will take my usual request. Fiber bars with walnuts. All right. Okay. How about you, Tiger? Oh. Oh, I'll come with you. You won't be able to carry all that back here on your own. And we're going to go ahead and say I can handle it, because I think that is what I need to do, which is what I need to do, by the way. I can handle it. Um, yeah, that's what it says. I can handle it. Don't worry, I'll make sure to pick you up a couple burgers, too. All right. All right, he's just chill with that. He's Tiger. super chill with it. Okay, mister, I've turned over a new leaf. What? Tell us exactly what's going what? on here. What? You guys are still going on about that? Uh, well, well, of course. Now that Kato yeah. isn't here, what's the tea, Christine? What do you mean? Well, there's no tea, Edward. I already told you both everything. <sighs> I have to say my curiosity has peaked, too. Your explanation to the sudden change of heart wasn't thoroughly explored before. Huh? Aren't you two supposed to be doing something else right now? I disagree. There are no planned activities today, as far as I know, so we most definitely have time to hear your story out, Tiger. God damn it. You're screwed now, buddy. <laughs> guys... Give me a bit break, would you? You guys are making this more of a big deal well. than it is. Well, it is a big deal, Tiger. It's about time you share stuff like this with us, you know. We're your friends now, right? I mean, we're Ugh. your friends, right? You two aren't going to stop bugging me about this, are you? Well, well, that depends on if you really, really don't want to. <sighs> as much as we're inclined to avoid ag aggravating you with our meddling, we equally desire to earn your credits with such matters. <sighs> okay, Lee. <laughs> fine. Okay, Lee. Okay, fine. I was wrong, okay? Huh. About what? Anyway. About Katero. He's not the villain I made him out to be. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Really? And what exactly made you think that and change your perspective overnight? Actually. Look, it didn't happen overnight, okay? It's just a lot has happened over the last few days, and well... I realized that he's not been faking it this whole time and that he really is just interested in being my friend. Besides... Meanwhile, I've been being a jerk and treating everyone, including you two, like crap just because I was insecure. I'm sorry. So I want to say sorry to both T of you. Tiger! Tiger, are you serious right now? Fine. Yeah, why would I joke about this? You two have to admit, I wasn't really being a good friend making you guys fall into my bad habits. Ugh. What's worse is that because of it, we almost became the bullies we got away from last year. My attitude was so bad that I ended up arguing with Scoutmaster Yoshi and breaking Kato camera like you guys heard a while As ago. Saying, if Kato hadn't talked to me last night, I would not I would have never realized how wrong I was. So yeah, I have to make it up somehow. Tiger! It's been a long... It's been so long since we've heard you utter such words, Tiger. This is exactly the knight in shining armor I admired from the start. Yes. I'm just trying to drink my coffee. Come on, Edward. Jesus. I'm just trying to drink my coffee. Don't be popping up in the subtitles like this. More like my Prince Charming. You trying to steal my man, bitch? Are we gonna get in an issue right here? We always knew this side of you was still in there. That's why we stuck around. Guys. Come on, guys. Don't make this any more awkward than it already is. Aww. Aww I've missed this target so much. Gosh. Edward, get off of me. Goals. No way. I've been, I haven't not been able to give you a hug in like Tiger forever. Is the best. Let me in too. Guys. Guys. 
Hello. Hey guys, I'm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys are stealing my man, huh? Are we gonna have an issue? Do I have to get my knife out? Huh? Katero? This isn't what it looks like, Katero. Uh huh. That's what they all say, Tiger. You should know by now, Tiger. You're only mine. Takes blade out of back pocket slowly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it seems like Edward and Lee were thrilled to have Tiger being nice to him. Oh, being nice to them, even though they couldn't believe it at first. We spent the rest of the afternoon chatting and eating our snacks. This must have been how they were last night. Last night. Last night. Last year is what it meant to be. Eventually, we all got tired and decided to take a nap till dinner time. That's pretty fucking lame if you ask me. And it's done! Wow, that was nice. I can't believe I slept till sundown. Sounds like me today. It looks like the others are still asleep today. I'm out uh, too. What do you Not mean? Not like me. It feels so nice to relax like this. I can't believe I missed out on all the good stuff just because I was stubborn. Kid was right. After all, it's not too late to make things right. Anyway, if I could convince him, maybe everyone else will listen to me too. But there's Yoshinori. After yesterday, I can't imagine how upset I made him, calling him a terrible scoutmaster <sighs> like that. Huh, I don't usually overthink stuff like this. Maybe I should take a walk outside and get some air. That might clear my head for a bit. Aiden. I think that's the last of the weeds, Aiden. Thank you for helping me pick them. We're sure gonna thing. smoke them up later. <laughs> sure thing, Yoshi man. Uh, we were only gone for a few days, and there were already so many. Maybe I need to convince Gramps to invest in some weed killer, or better yet, a lawnmower. <laughs> I doubt we have the budget for that. We're barely keeping this place alive with our current hmm. bills. Hmm, that's true. Maybe I can try and come up with something, you know. I can be very handy. And if I need more money, you could just cut my pay. Yeah. I mean, if we need more money, you can just cut my pay. Aiden, you're already earning the bare minimum with us. I don't even know how you are able to save up for your degree. <laughs> that's simple. I don't. <laughs> wow, that's the way to do it, I guess. I should really talk to Sir Goro about your compensation. Nope. Nah, you don't have to. You know I'm good as long as I get to work here with oh. you guys. Oh, that reminds me. Have you talked with Gramps yet, you know, about the stuff with yes, Tiger? Yes, of course. Yeah, this morning after the meeting, it looks like you and Yuri told him Whoops. about it. Whoops. Sorry, couldn't help it after seeing you so down in the dumps. We knew we had to do as something. Matter of fact. Don't worry, it was the right thing to do. Sir Goro gave me some valuable advice, and I'm going to take a drink of coffee. You can read yep. the rest of this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's old, Aiden. apparently. Aiden! Hmm. So, what did he say? Well, uh, he helped me to see the... Oh, that was a gross sip of coffee. It only hit me afterwards, but you know what? Tiger, uh, I've been handling Tiger the wrong way. Yes, you have been. You've been aggravating him. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to approach him, though, by Yoshi. not aggravating him. There you go again, overthinking stuff. Why don't you casually approach him and ask him for a minute? You're the scoutmaster, after you all. Hurry. Even better, I say you go to his cabin now, just to do that. And, after all, we just finished up here and I have to go start cooking dinner anyway. Right. See, I can't speak right now, guys. I'm still tired. I'm, I haven't drank in one coffee. I haven't. I need to drink, like, five in order for me to, like, work. Like, do shit. Ah, uh, you're right, Aiden. The longer I keep waiting, the more it'll be a burden for everybody. Tiger deserves to have a great time here at camp, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure I don't get him right. his way. I see Yoshi, I know. Let me know how it goes, all right? Thank you. Sure thing, Aiden. Thank you. Tiger. Ah, it's Tiger. Hello, Tiger. Ah, ah, I have a shirt like that. Not in the same color and all that. It's just a black sleeveless hoodie. I love it. Hmm. I was about to go to your cabin to talk to you. Do you have a minute? It, yeah. Yeah, I uh, wanted uh, to... What the fuck was that? That just... Fuck. It, yeah. Oh, that actually worked. It glitched for me originally for some weird what? reason. You do? Why don't... My fucking... Hang on a second. Why don't we go somewhere private then, he says. All right. Sure. And dark screen causes awkward silence. Oh, this reminds me of the place where we did the laundry and stuff. Dot, 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 dot. Listen, I... Oh, they spoke at the same time. All How right. funny. You can go first if you want. I disagree. No, no, go ahead. It's all right. I'm all right, sorry. Well, I'm sorry for what I did back at the falls. I was wrong. You had every right to be mad at me, especially for breaking the rules, and I shouldn't have disrespected you from in front of Kato and Hunter like that either. Damn right. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Tiger. You did all that you should have done. Well... I know you were only trying to help me, and I just kept pushing you oh. away. Oh, I didn't expect this, Tiger. I was kind of going to say the same oh. thing. 
I want you to know that it's not all your fault. I'm also to blame for persistently pushing you to your limit. Thank you, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Thank you for admitting it. I'm getting to like you a little bit more. You might be, you might be getting a little bit above Natsumi. We'll see about that, though. On the other hand, <laughs> unfortunately, I let myself get carried away and tried to force you and Kato to get along while being too blind to see that you were both learning your own way to work together. I know that I should have trusted you more, Tiger, and instead I let you down again. That's what matters. Most importantly, I never should have brought up something from the past when I knew you were trying to move on from it. Damn right, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, you're inching, you're, you're just almost above Natsumi. You're basically above Natsumi right now. I'm not asking you for to, give, to forgive me, but I just wanted to let you know that I regret my actions and I'm ready to give you the space you need. Just tell me if you I'll need I'll also anything. be here to support you along the way, not only as your scoutmaster, but as your friend. I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be saying sorry for being so stubborn. You gave me a second chance to be back here, and I've been wasting it since camp started. I shouldn't have let what happened last year consume Tiger. me. Tiger, I need to know if you still feel the same as you did when you asked me back then. Hmm. Do you still want to be here at camp, buddy? Of course. I still do. It's just, when I met Kato, I let my bitterness and jealousy take over. <sighs> I saw him making all these friends and getting praised by the Scoutmasters, and I convinced myself that he was just some jerk. Out to take what I came here back for. Uh, it turns out that it was me who was just trying for attention while Kedava was the one who just wanted to be friends. Actually, after being with him, I realized that uh, what I wanted all along just to be friends with everyone and for everyone for them to accept me for who I am. But with how I acted so far with everybody, I don't know if that's still possible. Yeah, of course. You know it is, Tiger. We both know how Kedava never gave up on you, and that goes for the rest of us too. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Never gonna come around and desert you. You won't be alone at camp, buddy, and I'll make sure that you can finally feel like you belong here. Th Thanks. Thanks, but that's not your responsibility anymore. I have to do my part, too. I'm really grateful for everything you've done for me, but I have to convince everyone else here that I've changed for the better, you see? too. Just knowing that you forgave me and are still looking out for me already means a I lot. Tiger. You know how proud I am to hear all this from you. I'm, glad to hear I'm so that. glad you're back here this Th term. Thanks. Thank you again, Scout Master Yoshi, for everything. <laughs> You're very welcome, Tiger. It's my pleasure to guide you and learn from get you. Moving. Now, come on, let's get you back to your friends. It's getting late, and I'm sure they're wondering where you are. Look at that, Scout Master Yoshi. You have successfully crossed Natsumi and my favorite character tier list. Look at that. That's what's going on. You, f you were on the bottom, but then you just passed Natsumi. Look, I'm Tiger. so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Oh, there you are, Tiger. I just woke up and saw you were gone. I was about to come look for you. I'm sorry. Sorry, you were still sleeping. I didn't want to wake it's you. It's all right. It's all right. Where did you go anyways? Anyway. Well, I actually went to go and talk to Scoutmaster oh. Yoshi. Oh, how did it go? As I was went, saying. Well, actually, he was on his way to talk to me, too, when I ran into him. I apologize for everything I've said and done. He did the same. We both talked about why I'm here. Awesome. I'm really glad to know he didn't give up on me, either. Exactly, Tiger. That's No one so gave up cool. on you. That's so cool! That's all, that basically summarizes it. That's great, see? You're really making up with everyone. First Edward and Lee, and then Scoutmaster Yoshi. I'm sure my friends will feel the same Th too. Thanks, Thanks Kato. I hope so. Anyway. Aww. That's so cute. Anyways, I'm a little bit sticky from the nap and was about to take a bath. Wanna join me? Sure, yes, that sir. sounds nice. Alright, let's go. I'm a little bit sticky from my nap. How do you get sticky from a nap? Is it just sweat? Is that is that what he means? Is that what he means? Please, let's hope that's what he means. Like, we didn't get Bukkakied on, like, we didn't get Bukkakied on by, like, Lee and Edward while we were sleeping, right? Just imagine that. <laughs> Please don't imagine that. Please don't. <laughs> I'm so, so glad that, wait, 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 yeah, do imagine it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm so glad that Tiger went and made up with Scoutmaster Yoshi. I knew the two of them would be able to come to an understanding together. He and I are finally friends, too. With how well things are going so far, I just know it can only get better. Good morning. Wake up, scouts. It's time for an activity. That's really Good boring. Morning. Good morning, sir. How are you so tired? And how did you even get back to sleep that you were sleeping until nighttime, Kato? Can you please inform me? I don't get how they are able to do this. If I slept in the if I slept in the daytime, I would not be asleep at nighttime. I'd be up like at five. I'd be up till five o'clock in the morning, and I'd just be playing video games all fucking day. Good morning, huh? sir. Oh, we're having another activity yes, today. Of course. of course. We've been on such a roll lately, we decided it would be the best to keep everyone engaged. After all, it's not a summer camp without activities. Oh. I just hope it's not something that involves going out. I've had enough sun for the past few days. Don't worry. Today's activity is an indoor themed, but I'll let Yuri just explain the details so I don't spoil her fun. Hmm. Oh. 
So it's a Yuri themed event, huh? Get, get ready moving. to do it in your underwear. <laughs> now you boys hurry and get ready. We'll assemble it in the mess hall in 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. We'll be there. Oh, and before I go, Aiden told me to give you this, Katero. It's my huh? camera. Oh, yeah. That's what I was expecting because, like, they were saying they were going to fix it. So, like, what else would Aiden give me? Jesus. That's correct. Yep, Aiden was able to prepare it with just a few of the parts he had been around you. here. Oh, he had around here. Oh, I'm really glad he could fix it. That didn't sound like a really, like, you. Ew. This sounds like them. Good. Thank you so much. It was so fast, too. Thank you, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Don't mention it. It's my duty. <laughs> it's the least I could do, since it was my fault it got broken in the first place. And you shouldn't thank me. Tiger retrieved it while Aiden fixed <laughs> it. I'm sure I'll... I'm, I'll be sure to tell Sir Aiden anyway. then, sir. Great. Anyways, I'm going to go and wake the other cabins up. I'll see you boys soon. All right, bye-bye. Yeah. Finally, an indoor activity. My nails could use a break from all that in Indeed. nature. Indeed, I was beginning to tire from... Per Pers perspiring every day in the wretched heat and activity inside will be a welcome change. Mm. I wonder what it is, though. It's not very often Miss Yuri leads our activities. Well, well, knowing her, it's probably something to satisfy her interests. Remember the knowledge <laughs> test? That's a good point. Anyway. Anyways, I'll go ahead and start preparing. I still have to fix my hair. It's a little unfabulous, and we can't well. have that. I'll join you, Edward. I find the chemical composition of the hair conditioner you lent me to be very satisfying. I wish to apply it to myself it's again. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Tiger. Oh, Tiger, it seems like you and Scoutmaster Yoshi are back to normal now, Fine. huh? Yeah, I was worried he wouldn't forgive me so easily, but I'm really grateful that he did. Oh, I bet Scoutmaster Yoshi was just as nervous, but I'm glad you guys were able to work things out. You see... I was just hoping that I'm in the, like, fucking right save file, but, like, I don't know, man. I'm a little bit nervous, though. If we're doing a group activity later, then I bet everyone else will be around. Including your friends. Oh. Oh. You know, they always think I'm up to no good. Just having them see me around you already gets on their nerves. It's definitely going to be awkward for the first little while. Um, what do we want to say here? We're going to go ahead and save over this. And we're going to go ahead and look over to my left a little bit. Um, and say, you can do it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, you can Tiger. do it. You can do it, Tiger. It's, oh, it's been going, hang on something. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> <clears throat> you can do it, Tiger. It's been going well so far with everyone else you've talked to. Before you know it, everyone at camp will be friends with you. Thank you. Thanks, Katerbo. Anyway. Anyways, why don't we get changed? We don't want to keep Edward and Lee waiting. <laughs> Trust me, those two will be will be done before them anyways. Oh, yeah, pretty much, probably. Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to see you all look well rested after our hike back yesterday. Furthermore. As I mentioned already, since we've been spending so much time outdoors the last few days, we thought we would let any everybody enjoy a nice, relaxing indoor activity. This activity will be hosted by your Scoutmaster Yuri, so I'll let her Thanks. describe it. Um, that's what we're gonna say. I know that's not what it exactly says, but that's what we're gonna have it say. Thank you, Yoshi. Here, the here at Camp Buddy, we only get to spend our time together during the summer, so we miss out on all the other ac holidays throughout the year. But I thought to myself, why should these holidays only be celebrated on the specific days? We can celebrate them here too Isn't if we this want. Exciting? So for days, for today's activity, we'll be uh, engaging in Valentine's Day-inspired activity by baking cookies for a special someone. That sounds nice. Aiden and I will help you and make and decorate them, and then it's up to you to determine who you want to receive it. Well. You all might be wondering what the purpose of this activity is, and the answer is simple. I want some things for my fanfiction. I want to see who's the most compatible for when I'm writing my fanfic. Exactly, I knew it, I called it. <laughs> Yuri! Yuri, no! Uh. Uh, what she meant to say uh, was to further express the appreciation you have for your fellow campers. It will mean a great deal to the person you decide to bake for, because you'll have... Ah, uh, you'll have designed and made the cookie with them in mind. Well... Also, culinary arts are part of the curriculum, so this is the perfect time to tackle I it. got this. I'll be standing by to help you guys out with whatever you need. I've got all kinds of frostings and sprinkles ready for you, so get On creative. You all have the uh, whole day to bake as many cookies for as many recipients as you want, so take your time and enjoy I'm this so activity. Proud of you. And don't forget to give the cookie to that special someone personally when you're done. Make sure you say something nice to them, too. After all, a cookie tastes sweeter with a compliment on top. Dismissed. That will be all. You may get started. 
All right. Oh, a baking activity. Now we're talking. <laughs> Looks like you're in your element, Hiro. Yeah, you you're got right. that right. And I already know who I'm giving my cookie to. Well, you better make a lot because one cookie won't be enough for me. What? What? I was talking about giving them to Kato, you stupid wolf boy. Well... I kind of want to try to eat a cookie you make too, Hiro. You're the most talented cook among us. All out. Ah. Ah, I can't speak. You're the most talented cook among us, after all. Yeah. Me too. For real? You guys really think so? Well, I guess I can cook one for each of you. Torch head. Make that five for me. Got that torch head. <sighs> Ugh, I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Hero? What kind of cookies are you planning to make, by the way? Well... I was planning on making an oatmeal raisin cookie. Ew. Ew. That's disgusting. It's the healthy choice, but it's not going to be too sugary. It's disgusting, Natsumi. Ew. Don't make oatmeal raisin cookie. The only thing that happens with oatmeal raisin cookies is I'm just like, oh man, these look like chocolate chips. Take a bite into it, and then I regret every single decision that I made up until that fucking point. And I will regret that decision after I fucking throw the cookie into the garbage. Don't. Oatmeal raisin cookies are gross. <laughs> Jeez, I hope I'm not Mr. Perfect's special person. Don't worry. But I was planning I on this. giving it to you, Yuri. <laughs> I promise it'll be delicious. <laughs> Oh man, I can relate to Yoichi there. Fucking ew. <laughs> not to me. I wouldn't mind having a cookie from you, not to me. Aw, that's sweet of you, Hunter. I'll be happy to make you one. I did receive my baking badge, and it was for making oatmeal raisin cookies before too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oatmeal raisin cookies, so yeah. good. Yeah, because the judges were old farts. <laughs> Thank you, Yoichi. Thank you. I like oatmeal raisin cookies. Okay, boomer. Well. Well, what would you have baked? Are you kidding me? Do I me? look like I know how to bake, Mr. Uh... Perfect? I might go for something classic and make a chocolate chip one. You see, that is the better option. Chocolate chip cookies, better option right there. No. I agree with you there. That sounds yummy, too. I've read lots of different recipe books, and there's fruit-flavored ones I've always wanted to try. Catero? How about you, Katero? What do you plan to well, make? Oh, me? I don't know much about baking. Maybe something simple would be good. Sugar cookies are amazing, too. Put a lot of icing on that bitch, and then boom, they're amazing. But I'll be taking a picture of everyone's cookie after, for sure. Uh, I just realized you have your camera back. Yeah. yeah, I just got it this morning. Sir Aiden did a good, great job fixing it. <laughs> There's really nothing Sir Aiden can't do. <laughs> and now I'm kind of excited to make mine look good. It's like working on a piece of art. <laughs> Blech. If you're gonna use paint on your cookies, then don't give me any Twinkle Bell. You're stupid. Stupid wolf boy. Cooking is art too. Weren't you listening to the Scoutmasters told us to design it? <laughs> well, I'm just glad everyone seems to be excited about today's activity. Well... Oh, I sure am, especially for your cookie, Kato. Whatever you're baking, I'm sure I'm gonna huh? love it. What makes you think he's gonna give one to you, dumbass? I know so, Kato is. Yeah. It's my best friend. That's the fucking SpongeBob meme right there. God damn it. They're pulling a quick one on us, aren't they? You said that like a thousand times already. Anyway. Anyways, I guess we should get started. Uh... Maybe we can all stay at one station. They fit all of us, and I can help you guys if you're having any trouble. <laughs> it's so fun to have Hero around on a cooking activity. It's like having a mini Sir Aiden to help us out. <laughs> Just poke me if you need a taste Ketaro. test. Feel free to join us, Kato. It's not going to uh... happen. Ugh, thanks for the invite. <laughs> Guess we'll work on our own then. I happen to have this great idea for an edible sequine covered cookie. Come on, Lee, you can help. Marvelous! I can make the base. Cooking is essentially a branch of chemistry, too. I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. I'm the best! Heh, <laughs> looks like everyone's pretty excited, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a little carried away th talking with my friends, though. <laughs> That's okay, I already expected them to annoy I'm sorry. me. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. Don't worry, I get it. I know they're trying to avoid fighting with me again. I always end up either lashing out or walking away whenever I talk with them, so it makes Tiger. sense. Tiger. Chill. Hey, it's alright. There's no way they'd change how they see me without any reasoning. Which is why I had an idea for today's activity. Oh? oh? What is it? As I was saying... I was actually planning to make a cookie for all of the campers. I want to make up to this summer. Yoshi said that we could ha make as many as we want, after all. Oh, Well, um... I take a look over to my left, and I say... Exactly what I would have said in general. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Look at that, I'm actually gaining my smartness back. That's great! Of, uh, visual novels. I, uh, Jesus. Alright, I'm sure they'd appreciate that, yeah. Tiger. I sure hope so. Well, I thought that maybe it would be a good way to start a conversation with yeah. them. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Although I have one problem. 
I haven't really tried baking a cookie before. As I was in saying, in fact, I know I'm pretty bad at cooking in as general. As I was saying, so I was thinking, if you're not that busy, maybe uh, sounds fun. I'd love to do the activity with you, Tiger. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, though I'm not that good at baking either, but I'm sure we could follow the recipe or even ask for Scoutmaster's help if we get stuck. Thanks. Thanks, Kato. Welcome. It's my pleasure, Tiger. Let's go. Let's get started then. Sounds like a plan to me, I guess. Jesus Christ, I'm. Jesus. Tiger was suddenly very excited for the activity. I didn't expect him to go this far out of the way for my friends. Either way, it's a good start to uh, to making up with them. Once we got into the kitchen, Sir Aiden gave us both aprons and guided us on what we needed to start to for baking. That's that's the, yeah, exactly. That's what it, that is exactly what it says, right, guys? Could up, you say not to? Why is it black screen? Okay, right. it's safe. I was just like, did it just crash on me? I was gonna be like, oh no, man, you better not have crashed on me. That's gonna make me depressed. Ooh, that ain't good. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading a text message. My bad. Anyways, uh, okay, I think the dough is finally ready. What the actual fuck? Ugh, that took forever. We tried like five different kinds already and just now got the consistency right. That's all right, Tiger. Like, we're pretty close anyways. Meanwhile, everyone else has already started baking. We're way behind. Well, well the hard part is done now, so we just need to cut the dough and prepare it for baking. As I was Guess saying. you're right. I'm actually kind of excited for this part, too. <laughs> You really like working with your hands, Fine. don't you? Yeah, it's going to be more like crafting oh. now. Oh, speaking of which, what's your idea for the cookie designs? What do you mean? I hope you don't think this is too much work, but I was thinking of making a custom design for each That's one. That's great. That sounds good. I'm sure they'll appreciate how personalized well. you make them. Well, there's another thing. Other than Edward and Lee, I really don't know much about your friends. It would be nice if I could base them off of the stuff that they like or what they're interested in. Oh, oh! I can help you with that. I know them pretty well, so I should be able to come up with something for each of them. Cool! Sweet! Thanks, Kato. You're a lifesaver today. Uh... Did you have any initial ideas for the overall design? Uh... My first idea was to try and make them shaped like their faces, but I know I can't do that. I don't have that kind of artistic yeah. talent. Yeah, that would take a lot of time to cut and decorate, too. Hmm. How about something related to their hobbies? That might be simpler to execute. Oh. oh, that gives an idea. Instead of making a cookie that represents something they like, how about we base it off of their personalities and favorite colors? Kind of like the animal badges on their uniforms. Oh, how convenient. Hey, that's perfect, Kedava. We could even have them individually flavored based on their favorites, too. Yeah, yeah that's a nice touch. I know what flavors they like. It's going to be fun. All right, I'm all pumped up now. Let's get these done. We've got a lot to do. You're right. Let's see what we're going to make. As I told Tiger about the other campers' interests, he began eagerly cutting out shapes to mold them into everyone's favorite animal. God damn, this is going to be an extra long video and I didn't even mean to do it. Tiger was really motivated to work on this. I've never seen him look so determined and happy before. Okay, dot dot dot. Good Ding job. sound, okay. It smells delicious in here. Great work, everyone. I believe that everyone was able to finish baking and decorating their cookies, so we're ready to move on to the next stage of the activity. That's right. That's right, Yoshi. Now that you've baked those cookies, it's time to give them to the special person you made it for. Make sure to say something sweet when you give it away, too. I wouldn't mind hearing a few love confessions. Uh, uh, I guess it's time to give these out, yeah. then. Yup, they turned out really cute, too. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will love them. Thanks, Thanks Kedova. Wish me luck. I'll start with Edward and Lee. Yay! That's an easy part to do it. You can do it, Tiger. <gasps> They're shocked. Aw, I like this little chibi thing. It's so cute. Look at it. Aw, I always like these little chibi things. A Tiger headed over to Edward and Lee, who were just finishing exchanging cookies. He handed the two of them their own custom-made cookies. A glitter-covered flamingo for Edward and a snake with glasses for Lee. Aw, <laughs> a snake with glasses. That's cute. The two were touched that Tiger would make something for them, and Tiger made sure to tell them both how much he appreciated their friendship and that he would keep working to be nicer to them from now on. Lee stuttered about how happy he was to receive something from Tiger while Edward even blew him a kiss. The two of them hadn't missed the chance to make Tiger a cookie as well, expressing how much they appreciate him. Tiger happily took the cookies from them, motivated and relieved that their first giveaways had gone so well. After handing out his first cookies, Tiger decided to approach Seto and Felix next. Just like Edward and Lee, they had just finished giving each other a cookie. They seemed a little embarrassed and surprised when Tiger came over. At first, they were suspicious about Tiger's motives, thinking that he was trying to do something sneaky, but then Tiger explained that he wanted to start over with them. God damn it, everyone's thinking Tiger's up to be like some snaky ass shit, man. 
Seeing Seto easily forgive Tiger made Felix do the same, although he had admitted that they hadn't made a cookie for him. Tiger said that they didn't need to, and that he was just excited to become friends with them. Aw, that's cute. Feeling confident since his first half of the kitties... C cookies? Kitties? Am I just thinking about cats right now? I want to go get a kitten now. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to go get a kitten. <laughs> Apparently, hang on guys, I'm going to go buy a kitten. Uh, peace out. Uh, one second. Well, couldn't get a cat. I just got a picture of Seto uh, dressed in his Halloween cat costume uh, instead. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> feeling confident since his first half of the cookies had went so well, Tiger was ready to go and try and speak with his with my friends, not his friends. They don't like him, but they better start liking him soon. I'll tell you that. Why much, buddy. you? What the hell, Wolf Boy? That was supposed to be for Katero. Why the hell did you eat it? <laughs> it's not my fault that you're the one who made them taste so good, dummy. What? You already had three, what? and I asked for five, so where's the rest? Ugh. I can <laughs> You did ask for five, you can't argue with that, come on guys. I can't believe these two have been arguing non-stop for the past hour. <sighs> Sometimes their energy surprises me, and they don't and they don't run out of things to say. Hello. Hey guys. Keturo. Oh, Keturo, perfect timing. Hey. Hey, watch it, Torchhead. Ah. Here you go, Keturo. We made you a box of cookies. All of us made one cookie in here. Yeah, we that's thought right. it would be fun to package it nicely, oh. too. Oh, thanks, you guys. That's really I'm sweet. Awesome. Try that big cookie. I made that Ew, one. That's Just gross. a little warning the red topping on it isn't jam. Huh? How was I supposed to know that was ketchup? They all look the same. Ew, ew. Fuck. God damn it. Ew, ew. Ketchup on a cookie? Come on, no, 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 that's, no, I'm sorry, no, that's, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't taste that bad, it's just like a sandwich, mm -hmm. um, I don't, yeah, my tummy's turning too, Hunter, Thank you that's so much. gross, thank you all so much, you guys are the sweetest, they're all so cute together, I don't even want to eat them, <laughs> you should take a picture before you do, you'll be able to remember them all that way, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm gonna look at that fucking ketchup cover one and be like, um, oh yeah, that was ketchup, man, that was disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just imagining eating a ketchup. Ugh. Even Wolf Boy's monstrosity. Right. Of course. <laughs> Did I just take a picture? I have to add this to my album. Um, um guys. Anyway, I uh, made you some cookies too. Oh, this is so cute. As I was saying... Kato helped me figure out what you guys would like, and I tried my best to make them into the shapes of your favorite animals. Oh, look at them! They're so cute! Look! Look at them! Aww, they're so cute! Aww, that's really adorable. Don't ask me! We even made them your favorite co flavors, too. A s'more flavored wolf cookie for Yoichi. Hero? We have a pumpkin spice raccoon cookie for Hero. Not to me. A mint chip... Mint chocolate chip beetle cookie for Natsumi. Hunter. And a lemon-flavored bunny for Hunter. They look unamused. I don't like that. Well... I know we started off on the wrong foot with me being so mean to you guys, especially Katero. So for that, I wanted to say, huh? sir... You think we were born yesterday or something? Excuse me, Yoichi? Ugh, we totally so can see annoying. what you're trying to do here, Tiger, and it's not working. Are you kidding me, Hiru? I don't know. What bothers me is that you went so far as to drag Katero into this. It's like you're using him to get back on our good side. Are you kidding me, Natsumi? You know what? Now you're going into the depths of hell of my favorite character fucking thing. Everyone is going down a list a little bit. Just, you know, Tiger's on the top right now. All right, everyone's going down. Uh, Tiger, Hiru, Hunter, Yeichi, um, Yoshinori, and the fucking Natsumi. You know, that's that's my list now. So the, everyone's going down a little bit. Tiger's the number one right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but this seems suspicious to me, too. Even after everything, it's still a bit too sudden. Are you fucking kidding me, Hunter? Yeah, yeah. just because Katero's camera's fixed now doesn't change how much of a jerk you've been. Yeah. I know that. I just thought... Shut Save up! Save it. We don't want to hear any of your bullshit excuses, so scram and take your cookies with you. You probably put poison in them anyways. Yoichi, I swear I'm going to break your collar and not in the good way. I'm going to fucking choke you out with it. You listening? Guys! Yeah, guys! You again? Kid about... No. Yeah, I get why you guys think that way, but I finally understand understand why you all wanted to protect Kato so much back As then. I was saying, Ever since we started spending time together, I saw how much he looks out for everyone, even someone like me. Making these cookies with him, I've seen just how much he got to know all of you, even in just a week. Anyway. He made me realize that it might not be too late for me to change my ways and learn about you all, too. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ramble about all of that. We're all supposed to have fun with this activity. I'm glad that I got the chance to make these and give them to all of you. I know you guys can't forgive me right away, but I'm not giving up. See you up. later. Now, I'll leave you guys alone. This is the option that they were talking about. The fucking assholes option. Is that what it was? <laughs> is, is that the option that you guys were, like, making jokes about? It's just, like, even though I really want the good end... Like, someone commented, they were just like, Even though I, of course, really want the good ending, I really do want to see what the assholes option does. You know what, guys? I'll, I'll, I'll pick the assholes option later. I don't want to do it right now, but, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do it later, all right? Um, but right now, we're going to go check on Tiger. Uh, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go. I'll go check on Tiger. I'll go check on Tiger. They look a little confused. Guys, do you guys think we were too hushed to Tiger right now? Did I accidentally put my mic down? Oh, I did. I accidentally turned my headphones on. I was just like, why is the music just muted now? Huh. That twit had it coming. Did he seriously think we were gonna accept his bribe then call it even? I smell something yeah. fishy. Yeah. For all we know, this is just one of his schemes. He's probably trying to suck up to the scoutmasters and convince him them that he's changed, and then he'll stab us in the back. I don't know. But it doesn't make sense for him to make these cookies for us. He wouldn't made them. Uh, he wouldn't. He would have made them for the scoutmasters instead if he was really trying to impress well... them. Well. Now that I think of it, Kadova would have stopped him too if that's what he was really up to instead of helping him. Or maybe the twip's just trying to get Frog Boy pissed off at us. Hmm, maybe they have a point, Wolf Boy. We did see how upset Kadova was after everything we said. <sighs> well, I have to admit, we got carried away. We almost sounded worse than Tiger when he was a bully. Well... I didn't expect to hear all of that from him, though. For once, he sounded like he meant everything he said. <sighs> I guess we overreacted. Um... I guess you did. Maybe we should... He's eating the cookies. What? The hell, Wolf Boy? Are you eating the cookies Tiger made? What? What? It's pretty good. Not as good as yours, Why though. You? you ate the ones he made for me, too. And I thought you said it's poison. Nope. Nope. Guess not. But this one is worse than the s'mores flavor. <sighs> that was supposed to be mine, you stupid Wolf <sighs> Boy. There they go again. Hmm. I'm still thinking about what Tiger said. Do you think he was being genuine? I don't know. I'm really not sure. It felt like it, though. Well. We let Kato stay with him. Uh, we let Kato stay with Tiger, trusting his plans to change him, but now that it seemed to work, we were being stubborn about it. I can't shake the feeling that we might be wrong this time. I think you might just be. How will this unfold? Tyga. We will find out in the next episode because we are going for about an hour long right now. But anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Again, my second channel is now linked in the description uh, in case this one gets absolutely demolished come 2020. But uh, you guys can go ahead and check the link in the description for my second channel there. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Kiyotsubaka out. I'm going to just name this one. Um, yeah, new this one thing. Baka, there we go. That's the name. All right, new this one thing, Baka. There we go. Okay, so anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Kitsubaka out.